And I'm Fernando, and this is the Weekly News by Helium 10. This week, we continue with our coverage on how the coronavirus is affecting Amazon. Amazon has made sweeping efforts to remove products with misleading coronavirus claims and that are guilty of price gouging. As the coronavirus spreads and demand in products like hand sanitizers and face masks surge, e-commerce retailers struggle to put a stop to third-party sellers violating these policies. As of date, Amazon has successfully removed 1 million items. Coronavirus has been an ongoing story for us here at The Weekly News by Helium 10. We know that coronavirus-related searches are exploding. In fact, it's 9 out of the 10 most searched phrases on Amazon are related to coronavirus, such as coronavirus masks. Wow. Uh, I know one example, which is hand sanitizers. It was searched 90,000 times back in December. But as of March 1st, that has increased to 1.5 million searches, according to Helium 10 data. Well, the Helium 10 Weekly News team is keeping an eye on this story for you. Right, Rhea? Yes, we're going to keep you updated on that. In related news, the Seattle Times reported an Amazon employee has tested positive for COVID-19 prompting Amazon to notify employees who were in close proximity, as well as instructing employees experiencing symptoms to stay home and seek medical attention. You know, if you're sick, just stay home and just wait it out. It's what's best for everyone. Yes. Uh, well, in other news, a new bipartisan bill to Congress called the Shop Safe Act will make e-commerce companies like Amazon liable for counterfeit products sold on their site. According to the New York Times, the Shop Safe Act would create trademark liability for companies selling counterfeit goods that pose risk to consumer health and safety, like drugs and medical products. So with that news, what do you think this means for our sellers or our customers that are watching? Well, you know, I just think this would force Amazon to more vigorously protect uh, their sellers from uh, counterfeiters and knockoff not, not sellers and remove them from Amazon. Uh, it can also have the effect that sellers will have increased confidence and trust selling on Amazon, knowing that Amazon will have their backs in some kind of way, that Amazon will protect them somehow. Right. I think if this bill were to pass, it would be a good thing in the long run for both Amazon sellers and customers. Uh, sellers can feel like their listings are protected and customers can be prevented by buying the shoddy knockoffs that we hear a lot about in the news. Well, we'll just have to keep an eye on this story for you. Yes, let's see what happens. Finally, customers in select cities can now expect their Amazon orders in a matter of hours. Amazon has announced it will be offering even faster same-day shipping in cities across the U.S., including Dallas, Orlando, and Phoenix. Customers can now place orders as late as 5 p.m. and still receive them the same day. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. Amazon has built many fulfillment centers close to these areas to get products to customers faster. Uh, what do you think, Ria? I think this is going to surge, just create an explosion in online sales because now if you need something the same day, you don't have to run to Walmart or Target to buy it. You can still order it online and get it uh, the same day. For example, if you make an order at 5, you can get it at 10. That's just five hours of waiting. I think, I think that's going to... It's gonna. It's a great thing for, for sellers. Well, you know, it's always nice to get what you want fast and easy, too. Yes, that's right. Well, that's all the news this week, but you know more is coming. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm Fernando. And I'm Ria. Thanks for watching.